Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on TimeGlider.com. TimeGlider is a great free web tool for any student to create an online timeline. All right, let's get started. So once you go on and make your free account, you can then <clears throat> make any timeline that you want or need. And all you have to do is start right here, click New Timeline. And let's say we're doing one on ancient Rome. If you want to add a description, you can do that there. If you also want to have a focus date, you can do that. Um, just simply type it in. But say you're doing something like in the BCs, then you go into the negatives. And you can type in a date, and you kind of start creating a focus date. Now, down here, you have public URL. If you need to make it public so that your teacher can see it, all you have to do is check that and then you will be creating um, a separate URL so that people can see that. Now, how do you make your specific dates? All you have to do is go right here to the triangle, click new event, and say we're going to go and have Julius Caesar assassinated. All right, Julius Caesar assassinated. We put in our date. Um, since it happened in the BCs, it's a negative. Um, if we would be doing something like a time period, say the reign of Augustus, we would put the start date there, then click on the span button and add the end date right there. So we can then come over here and add any description that we need to for our assignment at to Brute. And here you also have other um, <clears throat> nice functions that you can utilize. You can put a link there for a picture or upload one from your computer. You can also upload a video if you would like that to be seen. Um, and if you pay money, you can do some tags. But right now we can press save. And there we go. We have Julius Caesar right there. We can continue by er, to add more um with the new event right there or as you saw we can add another new event there as you can see um now that that has been created now say we need to actually publish this uh, or send it to our teacher like i said if you clicked on it then you should be able to have this nice url that you can copy and paste and send to your teacher thank you very much if you found this helpful um, please click the subscribe button and thank you for watching Learning the Social Sciences.